All right, somebody had to say this, so might as well be me. So, as you all know, Mercedes Monet, um, she's a double champion. You know, she's the AEW TBS champion and the NJPW Strong Women's Champion now. Double champion, first time, well, it's not the first time in her career, because, you know, in WWE, she was a Raw and a Tag Team Champion. But she won, and she said um, one thing that that really was like, seriously? She said she's the greatest women's wrestler of all time. She's officially on CTE watch. Like I'm, I'm not even. I'm not even joking. She's on CTE watch because there's no way in the absolute hell are you the greatest women's wrestler of all time. You, you're not even top. You're not. In my opinion, you're not even top fifty. No, actually, that might be too much. You're not even top thirty. All right. She's not even nowhere near the best of the four horse women. She's the worst one actually. She's Charlotte's way better, even though she's overrated. Becky's the best, so we all know that. Bailey's she own Bailey owns her, so I don't know what to tell you. You know how long it took Sasha Banks in the WWE to successfully defend a championship belt? It took her she was called upon the main roster in what, twenty fifteen, fourteen. And, you know, she won yeah, it was twenty fourteen, I'm pretty sure. And, you know, she wants to say she's the greatest. You know, it took her six fucking years to finally defend a belt in her first title defense. Because every time she got the belt, she loses it right back in her first title defense. And, of course, and you before you're saying, oh, well, she's getting pushed well in AEW, be fucking for real. We all know that, yeah, her getting the... She wanted Charlotte Flair type money, and AEW was the only company that can give it to her because WWE wasn't going to give her that type of money because you know why? Because she's not Charlotte Flair. She's not Becky Lynch. She's not Bianca. She's not Bailey. All right? She's nothing like those. So I don't know what to tell you on that. Oh, you can say, oh, but look at her, her resume. I, I, I really don't care. All right? You can say, oh, but she won that TBS championship. No, I don't care. Against Willow Nightingale. Oh, I don't care. She sucks. The women's division in AEW is such a joke that, of course, Mercedes Monet has to carry that weak-ass division. And her leading the division is not even that impressive. All right? It's not. And then, you know, her recently um, in um, Forbidden Door defeating Stephanie Vocker for the um, her championship for the NJPW Women's Championship. Really? She's not even good. All right? Both of the women that she won those titles, it's not even good. Now she's trying to get her a little feud with Brick Baker. That might cook, actually. But this shit, with Brick Baker being a feud with Mercedes Monet, that just shows you how trash AEW's um their division is. All right, she's on CTE Watch. All right, I'm never forgetting that. Oh, AEW were the best wrestle. All that, all that lies that every AEW, even AEW wrestlers themselves know that it's not not even close to the best. And then you, she's saying she's the greatest women's wrestler of all time. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can make a case she's not even the best in that division. You can make a case Tony Storm's better than her. All right? I can name so many women that's better than her, even in WWE, that it's, it's actually nuts. Even in NXT, you can make some women that is upcoming. All right, we all know the other three, four horse women are better. You know, Bianca's way better. Um, no, she's better than Nia Jax. I don't care. Tiffany Stratton's gonna be better now. In my opinion, even EO Sky's better. The only thing you can say is Sasha Banks is just better on the mic. But her mic skills deteriorate in AEW. She just throws shit together now. And, yeah. Mercedes Monet, like, I used to like Mercedes Monet. But now she's lost my respect a lot because the, the shit she said about WWE and, of course, some of the fans. And she's partly right about the fans. But... Is still the shit she the bullshit she spews is it fucking nuts. It's a fucking mess. Yeah, you saw how she did in WWE. You know when she won the tag team belt. 
yeah, she wants to cry for a little bit, and then she goes right and wins a championship in AEW because she's a crybaby. Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet, is a cancer in the locker room. People don't realize that. Even in people in the WWE backstage have said she was tough to work with. Let's be for real. Triple H made her. If it wasn't for Triple H, she'd be flipping hamburgers somewhere. But, like I said, Mercedes Monet is not that good of a wrestler anymore. Okay? She botches too much now. She's injury. She she was injury prone in WWE. After, like, that gimmick she had with the Raw Women's Championship, after she got that blue hair, she became injury prone. And I don't know what to tell you about that. Like, I used to, I, like, Sasha Banks at WWE, she was kept under control because they know that you can't pull that shit there. And, oh, yeah, another thing. In AEW, of course, that the CEO has um, power control, controlled power, whatever the hell. I'm like, oh, wow, not a shocker because Tony Khan is literally an idiot when it comes to power and authority. That's why Tony Khan is not a booker, and he's literally the biggest mark just running a shitty promotion. All right, making these superstars like you know, you can give the superstars just a tiny bit of power, they can have a say, but putting them in a high position like this, you basically can call her an EVP, and she and it is it's bad. Booking having superstars book their own shit is terrible, man. It's a problem in AEW because this is what they're gonna do, they're just gonna get these matches, and then they're just going to book themselves to win, and it's going to create frustrations in the locker room. It's going to, it's not, and it's going to create actual turmoil. Like, you know how CM Punk was in AEW. He, he basically ran um, Collision, and then the shit with um, Jungle Boy, you know how that shit worked. But back, besides that, like, she's, like, Mercedes Monet, she was, she was difficult to work with in WWE. You know, she's a crybaby. You know, right when they lost the tag team belts at WrestleMania, she literally cried, and we didn't hear from her in almost six months, which is crazy. She was just difficult to work with. And in my opinion, also, she's one of the biggest bitches when it comes to um running her mouth, like... Let's be for let's be for real. She wants to say, "Oh, the reason why I left WWE is because I just didn't, I couldn't wrestle there." <laughs> oh, shut the hell up! That is such bullshit. Every time she didn't win a championship, she complains, she bitches, she moans. And in AEW, she's probably gonna hold that belt forever because she has creative power there. Apparently, nice one, Tony Khan, you fucking loser. And she's just going to book herself to win all these matches against these mid-women. Maybe Britt Baker would actually cook, but who knows? Who knows anymore? Because Saints Monet, she's on CTE watch, all right? Maybe she's been knocked on her neck too many times on suplex. I don't know. Because she's not the greatest woman. No, she's not even in my top 35. I'm <laughs> just letting you know that right now. All right? You know, and I'm probably going to upset a lot of Mercedes Monet's fans. I don't care. I'm just, facts don't hurt, doesn't care about your feelings, pal. All right? And I used to love Mercedes Monet. I really do. I still kind of do. But the shit she spewed about AEW and WWE, let's be for real, that's all. She's just talking out the side of her neck. Like I, like people say, money talks. That's what money does. Being the highest paid women in sport, women's wrestler in sports, knowing damn well, that she didn't deserve all that money. She literally admitted that she's just there for the money. So yeah, AEW screwed themselves over in that deal. So Tony Khan better be ready. Because once she loses that belt, she's going to cry about it. And then she's going to get it back. And you know, she's gonna it's going to be more bad booking. So yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. Like, no one, no one cares about... Let's be for real. AEW has too many fucking championships. Like, nobody cares about the AEW TBS championship or the NJPW Strong Women's Championship. Those belts aren't shit. Stephanie Vock, they're all big deals. She's not that fucking... She's not even good. Like, come on. Willow Nightingale. Oh, sh oh sure. Okay. But yeah, that's really what I wanted to say. Make sure you hit the like, comment, subscribe. I want to thank Kobe and Vince for letting me do this. 
you know, somebody had to say it. But yeah, sub to their channel. See you guys soon.